Hello, everyone. Allow me to share uh, the story of how I ended up on this stage today. Uh, at first, I did not know that there is a club called Enactus. I was a student that locked myself up, keeping a distance from the outside world. I still remember that that time, it was my friend who asked me to join this club in Actus. After I joined in Actus, I have a lot of opportunities to approach the outside world. And I also get the opportunity to stand in front of you guys on this stage today to share my experience with you all. Okay, so what is in Actus? This word, it has three different meanings. Entrepreneurial action, us. Together, this word, they form the word Enactus. Enactus is an organization that empower underprivileged community through entrepreneurial action. In Enactus, we strive to improve the standard of living of underprivileged community through solving environment, social, and economic problems. Now, imagine this. You are walking around uh, in a morning market, or bazaar, or wherever you are, taking the simplest example, Changlun. Okay, that's the closest place to you and all of you guys been there. Now, as you walk around, you can see a pile of coconut shelf waste on the roadside. You don't know what they're going to do with those coconut shelf waste. And then those coconut shelf waste is either collected, thrown away, or burnt. Now, next, think of this. We all know that Malaysians, included all of, all of us as well, of course, we love coconut. We love to consume coconut, especially in preparing foods such as mi curry, pulut, uh, rendang, santan kelapa, and etc. We do not know that we consumed about 611 million metric tons of coconut a year in Malaysia. Shocking, is it? Now, I ask you, what happened to those coconut shelf waste? Any idea? No, the worst scenario is that those coconut shelf waste is dumped or burnt, which leads to landfill dumping or, open, or air pollution. Seriously, everyone, that would be bad, right? Okay, so what if we tell you that there is a solution to these problems? What if we tell you that this coconut shelf waste is not a waste, but an unpolished gem waiting to be discovered. What if we tell you that we see a business opportunity from all those coconut shelf waste? Now, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Co & Co project. Co & Co is a project that turned coconut shelf waste into charcoal. How amazing is that? Yeah? So we came up with three simple steps to help us in this process. The first step, we heat up those coconut shelf waste until it is fully carbonized. Second, we grind those carbonized coconut shelf waste into fine coal dust. And third, we mix those fine coal dust with corn flour and other mixture, which will then be molded into charcoal. All this process, it takes only three days for the charcoal to solidify. After that, you can use it however you want it and whenever you need it. Now, think again. What if we tell you that the charcoal does not pollute the environment. What if we tell you that it is 100% organic and 
eco-friendly as well. Now, we empowered the underprivileged community by teaching them how to produce the charcoal by themselves. After they learned, they can produce them by themselves easily. So, using, by doing that, uh, we provide an opportunity to the target audience to create a business. After that, they can generate a sustainable income for themselves. Now, I want to share a story with you guys, the story of Matsu. Far away in a rural area of Lembabujang, with eight young children. Both of them are small-scale paddy farmers and oftentimes their income is inconsistent depending on the yield of their small paddy field. Can you imagine the hardship they experience trying to feed eight young children with the income that is not much? Maybe we told you this, that their income is less than 2,000 ringgit per month. Just for you to get a, a clearer picture of how, how they are living in such condition. So, after we engaged them, we, help, we started by transferring knowledge to them, guiding them step by step on how to produce the charcoal by themselves. Now, they are able to produce the charcoal and they can sell it to the local community uh, around those areas and generate a reliable source of income. Now, they, can, they are able to sustain themselves. So, this is what we wanted to see. This is Enactus. We, uh, we empowered underprivileged communities and provide them business opportunity. This is the picture of Matsu that when we go up there and reach them. Next, let's talk about education. When we talk about education, uh, what do you guys think of? Any ideas? I bet most of you guys think of books, after class tuition, a bunch of homework and assignments. After all those secondary education, you graduate and you move on to the next stage. Maybe you got yourself enrolled into a university, UUM. But this time, you'll be facing lecturers and more assignments to deal with. After a few years of studies, you left and you go up to look for a job. That is the normal route that most of people would take. What we consider as a traditional life. Most of people do the same just to secure stability of their life. So, can we challenge the norms and do things differently. What if we tell you that we can provide a platform for young students to experience something different? What if we tell you that something different is entrepreneurship? So now, I present to you the VE project. This VE project. VE project it provides opportunity for young students to learn business through practical experience. In VE project, we provide uh, entrepreneurial knowledge to them to start up to start up their own business. To engage them, we follow a set of business guidelines and by guiding them step by step on this project. After that, we guide them to run the business or to plan the business 
and run it in small scales. After all those process, they would have developed their own entrepreneurial ideas and able to run or even start up their own projects. Now, I want to share another story with you again. This story is about two orphanages which are located in police. Before we engage them, we know that these students, they were shined, lack of confidence, and did not have any entrepreneurial knowledge. The reason is because they do not have anyone to guide them, just like your parents did. Your parents take care of you all, watch over you, make sure that you guys are doing everything correctly, right? But for these orphans, they lose their hopes the moment they lost both of their parents at a young age. So they do not have anyone to look up to. Eventually, they change, they shift their needs for study to the needs to sustain themselves through working. And that is why we considered VE project is very important. We provide them a second chance to live a better life. We empower those young students with the following skills and knowledge such as business planning, business execution, finance and budgeting, sales, marketing, uh, product development, and finally, business presentations. After we engage them, we can clearly see that the difference in their developments and characters. They are no longer the student that we first met. They have evolved into something greater, as now they are becoming more proactive, more confident, and dare to speak up their own ideas. This is Inactus. This is what we wish to see. And before I end my talk, I would like to share a personal opinion with you all. Through Inactus, I, I get the opportunity to approach those underprivileged community and get to know what they have gone through in life. I personally approach them and know that the hardship they experienced told a lot of story within. And I was frustrated that I could not do anything more. And what I did was just a temporary relief for them. So I really hope that Enactus is given an opportunity to spread all these ideas to more people so that the people that can, they can replicate what we did out there and spread it across the world. In Actus UM, we discover, we developed, we inspired. Thank you.